Jam School Remix. Here's a fun and easy way to make it look like you have self-generating money. That's the best kind of money. I'm setting up four rows here. Now I'm gonna assign each of us a row because we're each gonna count a row. Graham, this will be your row. Jessica, this will be your row. Annie, this is your row. And this last one is my row. So real quick, everybody count how many is in your row. Graham, how many in row number one? Ten. Ten. Jessica, how many in row number two? Ten. Ten. Annie, how many in row three? Ten. And of course we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got four rows with ten each. And if I remember my grade school math correctly, four times ten is how much, Graham? Thirty. We're good. Do me a favor, Jessica. Take that quarter. You notice we have discrete piles throughout the rows here. Place it in any pile you want. All right, now, I want you to watch my hands. You notice there are no sleeves here. We'll see if you can pick up on the sleight of hand because I'm gonna take this row. Well, you said it right there, right? Yeah. Okay, that's the one I'm not gonna touch. All right, I'll touch all the others. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these two and swap them over here. I'll take the one for the two. I'll move these over here just like so. I'll move this right here and I'll swap this over here. And in fact, I'll move one there and that one right there. Everybody count your rows. Graham, how many? Two now. Jessica, how many? Ten. How many? Ten. And of course, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Here, try it again. Graham, your turn. Oh, interesting. You're gonna mess me up that way. Well, if that happens, I'm gonna move, actually, that yours is the one I'm not gonna touch. I almost messed up my own rule here. I'm gonna take these two, I'll swap the three for the one, the two for the one, the two for the two right over here. I'll swap these over here, I'll move this right here, and that right there. Everybody count your rows. Graham, how many in this row? Ten. Jessica? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put one anywhere you want. Interesting. All right, one from here, move one over there. I gotta swap these two right here. I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna swap these like so. Everybody count your row. Ten. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last coin. All right, here we go. This one's a little more complicated. Because I'm gonna have to swap these two right here. And I'll swap these two right here. I'm gonna move this guy right here. I'll swap both of these just like so. Ten. 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 <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm wondering so, if there's seriously? a hole or something. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, got, I have no idea. Where are you putting all these coins? You need to set up four in one corner, three in the next corner, four in the next corner, and three in the next corner. Inside, you set up two piles, one with two and the other with one, one with two, the other with one, one with two, the other with one, one with two, the other with one. And I make sure to point out that we have four rows, 10 coins each. Then I say, if I remember my grade school arithmetic correctly, four times 10 is? 40. 40. That's the only time I say it, because I don't want people to think again about how many actual coins are here. Do me a favor, Graham. Actually count how many coins are on the table. <laughs> that was a great moment. Jessica just had it occur to her what's going on here. There are only 26 coins on the table because these four coins get counted Count twice. Yeah. These three coins, so Not there's six really times corny. two, six times two. These four corners I think of as the bank. These are the ones that are being double used and that's why we have so many coins in there. Put the coin anywhere you want, Grant. Since you put it in this row right here, the only move you need to do to fix it is either move one down from the left bank or move one down from the right bank. So now this one still has the same number of coins because you just move one down there, but this one added a coin here and lost a coin over there. If you did it that way, it would be super obvious and nobody would be impressed. So what you gotta do is come up with two bogus moves before the important move. One important move and then a couple of bogus moves after. This is a bogus move. Because two over here, one over here does nothing. This is a bogus move, because I'm swapping one for one. The only move that matters is when I pick up this one and set it right here, but I don't stop on that one. You don't ever want the secret move to happen either at the beginning or at the end. Now there's one special occasion. What happens if you set it on the corner? Now look, you now have 11 in this row and 11 in this row. Let's say I took one out from here. Now that would make it 10 on this side, but when I set it here, now it's 11 on this side, and that's not what we want. So instead what I'll do is I'll leave the single coins alone, 
and I'll take one from the bank on one side and one from the bank on the other side, and we have 10 all the way around. This is one of my favorite simple tricks from Bamboozlers by Diamond Jim Tyler. It's three volumes and over 200 effects. Some of the best stuff we've taught on Scam School comes from this book, and it's available right now at scamstuff.com. If you're a longtime fan of Scam School, then you know we love domain.com because they make domain registration fast, easy, and reliable, but more importantly, they let us do ridiculous sketches like this one. Hello there, t Tech in Texas right here at the Domain Corridor. 6006 I-35 between Stasty and Manchac, and everything must go! Hi, googly dig dog. We got all the domains. Your dot pizzas, your dot me's. Even have the credibility of a dot com or a dot net. If you got a domain hankering, we aim to please. Get all these domains and more by heading on over to domain.com. Use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout and get yourself 15% off. How do we stay in business with these discounts? I don't know. What I do know is our most loyal customers entrust their lives with us. We do whatever it takes to better our internet. That's the power of a .com or a .net. Most reliable of domains. Domain you can't help but trust. But don't focus on that. Voices in my head say these domains have got to go. Ain't that right, Mr. Happy Pants? <laughs>